The Nebraska Cornhuskers are at odds of plus 6,600 to win the College Football National Championship, and they are at odds of plus 1,200 to win the Big Ten Conference Championship. Last season saw the Cornhuskers go 9-4 and four straight up, 8-4-1 and one against the spread, and 8-5 and five on the over-under. Nebraska certainly has some pieces in place to contend for a Big Ten Western Division title, although Wisconsin will have their say when the two meet on October 10th at Nebraska's Memorial Stadium. Head coach Mike Riley takes the Big Ten plunge, leaving Oregon State behind after 12 years on the bench for the Beavers. Riley coached the team to only a 2-7 conference record in 2014. He enters his 24th season as the face of a team, which includes a three-year stint with the NFL San Diego Chargers. He is hoping the change of venue will revamp his coaching career in the Big Ten. Tommy Armstrong is back at quarterback for the third season. Offensive coordinator and QB coach Danny Langsdorf is asking Armstrong to be more of a pocket passer, but we all know his strength at the college level has been with his feet. He rushed for 705 yards in 2014, averaging close to five yards per carry, and he has the ability to escape pockets and make something positive out of something negative. Creeping in the shadows of Amir Abdullah's success in the backfield, Terrell Newby might finally get his chance. The former high school standout has never had to prove anything until this season. Left tackle Alex Lewis is on the honor watch for this year, being the only lineman returning who made a start in every game a year ago. Zach Stirrup started 10 games last season, but fell to a late knee injury, which also kept him out of spring practices. So there is a bit of concern that the 6'8", 320-pound senior will stay on the field through the long season in a brutal Big Ten conference. Brian Stewart takes over as the DB coach for the Huskers after three years at Maryland as the defensive coordinator and DB coach. He has over 20 years of experience with a clipboard in his hand. Defensive coordinator Mark Banker has 10 of his 11 expected starters entering their junior or senior season, although there is some concern with the depth of their linebackers. The core of the defensive backfield starts with Nate Jerry, who moved to his more comfortable safety position last year. 88 tackles and five picks later, he was named to the All Big Ten second team by most media outlets. Daniel Davey returns at corner after starting every game in 2014, but the depth at CB could likely see many first and second year players in the rotation. Most media outlets are predicting eight, maybe nine wins for this team, but we are not about to be so generous, especially after watching Coach Riley leave Oregon State in shambles. He is our biggest concern. Of course, the process of trying to turn Tommy Armstrong into a pocket passer will likely go out the window as conference play starts, because that is not the type of player he is. At only 6'1", and with a returning offensive line with only one player who started every game last year, this year will be more of a growing process. For our pick and prediction, the team could win eight games, but a 7-5 and five finish seems more realistic. We do not see a major bowl game in this team's immediate future. For our Nebraska Cornhuskers betting predictions, check out the Bang the Book Betting Center. And don't forget that the Bang the Book Betting Center is your best resource for sports betting information before you make your weekly assault on the sportsbooks.